Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all have been enjoying our guest vlogs. They're a super fun way to see into other people's lives and experiences here at UW, so definitely go check those out if you haven't. But today I'm gonna to be talking about study spots and specifically in relation to residential area study spots because as a resident, you have a little bit more um, resources and options for choosing a place to do your homework, study, and other things like that. So we're gonna be walking around some places and I'll show you what they all look like and also I will be going to some of the standard places um, where every UW student can go um, like some of the libraries so let's go out and get started Okay, so right now I am outside of Odegaard, which is in Red Square. Um, the problem with walking through Red Square is there are a bunch of people selling treats all the time like these Girl Scout cookies right right there and Krispy Kreme and a bunch of different other snacks that I will most likely buy and spend all my money on. What are you studying? Um, this is linguistics class. Mm -hmm. Studying uh, syntax currently. Mm. And um, I just got my midterm back. Got a 53%. <laughs> There's super solo. And yes, I did just buy Girl Scout cookies because I caved. I'm right outside the Suzalo reading room, which is also known as like the Hogwarts room. But the reading room is one of the biggest, uh, most popular places at UW for tourists and visitors to come to because it looks like Hogwarts. So the Suzalo Reading Room is a great place if you're looking for a really quiet place to go study. In general, for all the libraries, you can reserve uh, study rooms for like a group or like a test review or something, which is really great. Um, if you just head over to the library's website, you can reserve it there. Odegaard is also really awesome because it's open 24 hours a day, Monday through Thursday, for University of Washington students. Um, general public, it is not 24 hours, but um, if you are a UW student, you just have to show your Husky card after 7 p.m. and you can stay as long as you want. We're gonna head over to the Mercer Court Apartments and go look at their terraces that they have in the B and C buildings, um, and then go to Terry Hall, which is also on West Campus, and look at the terrace that is up there. The only thing is that Terry and Mercer Court terraces are only available to the residents that live in those halls, so you cannot go there even if you are a resident in another hall or apartment, um, unless you are a guest uh, with somebody that lives in those uh, residence halls or communities. Alder Commons, which is below Alder Hall um, in West Campus. Um, basically, to get to it, you have to go around to the back of Alder instead of where you would enter to go into the residence hall, um, and then you'll see the doors and the entrance. The 
cool thing is also in Alder Commons there are these meeting rooms, conference room style uh, type of rooms um, that you can use as well as long as they're not booked out. Um, so you can kind of just come in here if you don't want to be in the main commons area um, and it's also a really great place to study. Now I am headed to North Campus to show you all the Madrona Learning Resource Center. That's not studying. <laughs> So similar to Alder Commons, uh, Madrona LRC also has these kind of meeting conference rooms that you can kind of sit in as long as they're not booked out. Um, but the cool thing is they also have these huge whiteboards where you can just write all your notes and kind of get all your thoughts out um, on a bigger space than just like a notebook or a laptop. You can also hook up the projector screen with the little laptop keyboard there um, and project things if you need to watch a video or um, some people play music, things like that. If you would like to request a meeting space like the ones I showed you in Alder Commons or Madrona Learning Resource Center, just go to the HFS website and scroll to the bottom to see the meeting and event spaces page. This has information about eligibility as well as all the meeting rooms that are available. And if you are a resident, you can fill out the resident request form and HFS will respond to you within a couple days about your reservation request. That is my study spots vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. One thing to note though is that this list is not comprehensive. Um, so definitely just find what works for you. Go out and explore, try different places. Everyone's different. Um, I have friends that only study at Odegaard Library. Um, and then myself, I tend to usually stay in my apartment most of the time. Sometimes I will go to kind of different libraries and things like that, um, but it's just more convenient for me. So find what works for you. Um, and also if you would like to see more videos like this um more not study spots necessarily but other campus spots or other tips and things like that um let us know below we always love to hear what you'd like to see um because this is for you so let us know and i'll see you all next time bye